look at them getting all the rock out. There's so stuff going on all the way up this hill. Lovely windows. Good luck to you guys in cleaning all of your windows. Are you one of the people that's sending it right now or still sitting on the sidelines and waiting for better deals and better rates? That is the question. It seems like lately everybody that we talk to about real estate seems to be in suspense waiting for a good deal to hit the market. What's a good deal? That's a good question. Well, like, what would you say constitutes a good deal? Me personally, I would much rather buy in a market right now. I, I know the rates are high, prices are high, but sellers are really motivated. But wait, 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 wait. Let's, let's back up a little. What is a good deal by comparison? Like, well, the price per square foot. It's true. The build quality, what's included in that price. Amenities. Amen if there is an HOA and there is amenities, what is all included? Well, for instance, to make it even simpler, six months to even a year ago, if you wanted to buy a nice single family home in Southern Utah, say like starter range, kind of where you start to, like you're not in the condo, not the town home, but you're in a single family home. So if you wanted to do that in St. George, even a year ago, I would say you're looking at mid 600s, low 700s, just barely, just last weekend, I was showing homes in the 500s that are 20 years old, but they are, comparable properties, I would say, to some of the stuff that was in the sixes and sevens, or at least you couldn't have an entry, you couldn't, you couldn't get your foot in the door until you were in like mid sixes. Now in the mid fives, you're touching some of that inventory that used to be that expensive. It's true. But what I'm saying is like, if you're wanting to make a deal happen and you're looking to, you know, get some concessions from the seller, come in below asking, see if you can get a 2-1 rate buy down or a permanent rate buy down or get your closing cost covered. Now is the time to get that included in your offer. Yeah, I feel like the sellers right now are definitely still, still motivated because our days on market, so I just pulled these stats for July because August isn't quite in the books yet. Nationwide, it was a pretty slow month. I think July of 2024 was actually slower from a national perspective than July of 2008 with fewer deals going under contract. That's However, here in Washington County, we still had 344 transactions sell this July, which is actually 10% up from July of 2023. So our volume is actually starting to increase and average days on the market are also starting to go down from 68 to 63. But you know, we're still in the 60s. So Average house that hits the market right now still tends to sit a little bit longer than the sellers perhaps would wish for it to sit on the market. I mean, if you price your home right and you put it on the market for like an actually good deal, then it's gonna go, it'll go quick. Yeah, we always, always, always advise that the sellers bring the home to market so that it becomes the obvious choice. You know, anybody that's shopping in that price range, because in reality, it is really hard to underprice a property in our market. I feel like, you know, as a seller right now, if, if you're considering selling your home in our market or anywhere else for that matter, if you price the property too low, you will most likely get competing offers that will then bring that property up to the market value. I think it's a common myth that people are worried about giving the home away, giving the farm away, you know? In reality, if you priced it too low, you will wind up with more offers that will then compete against each other to bring the property up to proper value that it's worth. And if you price the property too high, then we'll see this through and through, especially in this market. There are so many listings that are starting to sit on the market for 160 plus days. We have never seen that before in our market. And there are resales as well as new construction where you know the sellers maybe are comfortable. Maybe they don't have a huge note or hard money loan on new construction and they are waiting for the market to catch up or I'm not sure exactly what their strategy is. And, you know, some people that's just their margins or the, that's their bottom line. They don't have to sell any lower. But as of right now, those are the listings that are starting to sell in our market. And at the same time, you'll find some that are priced appropriately and it's not uncommon to get offers cash over asking. Unfortunately, that just happened to one of the listings that we represented the buyers for. You know, they were trying, it seemed to be right off the bat, like that could have been a sweet deal, but it was priced well. It 
location is everything. It was in a great location right downtown St. George. Part of the reason why we wanted to make this video is so we could show you guys some of the inventory that you could touch at a very good price point right now. One of our sellers just reduced the prices on two of our new construction listings out here in Mountain View Estates in Hurricane. Mm -hmm. It's a great neighborhood, minus the road construction that we're driving through right now. Yeah. I think there are some sewer pipes that they just dug out for and they haven't quite patched the concrete yet. But it's but... a great location. It sits up on, that's why they call it Mountain View Estates, is because you have views from all the lots there and it's centrally located. You've got a gym just minutes down the road. Like literally five minutes away yeah. from the gym. And a Walmart and several other grocery stores. You're no more than like five minutes from hopping in your Can-Am and going to the desert, to the sand dunes. You're less than 10 minutes away from Sand Hollow, uh, from Sand Hollow Golf Course, about 15 minutes away from Quail Creek. And you're, you're really close to Copper Rock as well. So you've got a couple of golf courses to choose from right Beside Copper Rock, there's some really cool single track dirt bike trails. Same thing with San Hollow. And mean, about 30 minutes to Zion National Park. Within a day's trip, you've got all sorts of entertainment if you're into doing things outside, outdoors. At the same time, you are just 30 minutes away from downtown St. George mm -hmm. and what about 25, 30 minutes away from Costco. So it's a great location. You actually have some pretty decent privacy. Now, we started selling homes in this subdivision from day one. We had a couple of listings that were the homes that were first built here. And some people have concerns with living around construction, but that won't be the case for long here. Yeah, it's I getting feel, built out pretty quick. Yeah, this, this whole street's starting to get pretty built out. We've got one listing that I feel like it, it packs a pretty good punch for the, for the price point because you have some really nice premium finishes. You have a three car garage. It's a really, really cool looking home. You have a very private backyard. I feel like in that price point, it would be tough to get something like this in St. George for that same. You can't, you can't find it. You, yeah, you're not, you're it... not gonna get this size of home, the three car garage, this size of lot, the, back, the rear privacy for this price and the quality of the build. And the second listing we're gonna show you guys today has a private backyard with some incredible views. Hello friends, I hope that you're enjoying this video as much as we enjoyed making it. There's truly only one thing that we enjoy more than making these videos, and that's hearing from you. So if you're watching this video and you're thinking that St. George might be a great place for you, or maybe you're thinking about relocating somewhere else in Southern Utah, or the entire state of Utah for that matter, please reach out to us. We would absolutely love to be of service to you. Our contact information is in the description below this video, as well as a link to reserve a time in our calendar for an obligation-free meeting so we can chat and see if we can be a good fit for each other and if Southern Utah is right for you. Without further ado, let's get back to this video. Look at them getting all the rock out. There's so, stuff going on all the way up this hill. Lovely windows. Good luck to you guys in cleaning all of your windows. This house does have a lot of windows. But like, look at the views from there. Well, I mean, I'm just saying during the new construction, good luck to you guys on a windy day, <laughs> but it's a beautiful home. I'm sure it has amazing views from there. You get some cool views from the top of this hill too. And if you're into building, there are still plenty of lots and view lots that you can build your dream home on. Yeah, that's the ultimate question too. A lot of people are thinking right now about building a custom home. So you build a custom house and it takes nine to 12 months. If there's financing required, you know, if you're not doing this whole deal cash, then you're ultimately taking a little bit of a risk. And now you're, you know, by the time you could lock your rate, it could be 12 months out. Who knows what the rates are going to be? I have a random question. Let me know in the comments. Are you guys a fan of the garage, the singles like that? Like if you're going to have a three car garage, would you rather have three singles like that? Or would you rather have a double and a single? Oh, I think. I don't know if I could do that. I think you know what my answer is. You would just rather have an RV garage? I feel like that trend with the three single doors, me personally, that trend should have stopped in like the 1980s. Parking your car and feeling like you're threading the needle every single time, mm -hmm. that cannot be comfortable. Some of them just look a little too like snug for even an SUV. Yeah, definitely that's a trend that should have stopped. In my opinion, you guys might think differently. 
So we just stopped at the first home. We wanted to give you guys a tour. It's a three bedroom, two bathroom, three car garage. And Nick's gonna take us on a little tour and give us the stats of this property. This house is just a little bit over 2,000 square feet. It's like 2,032 square feet. Has a three car garage. It's a really private backyard. All of the front landscaping is finished. This home is turnkey. Just got certificate of occupancy not too long ago. So you could buy it today and move into it. I think that this is a really good value proposition. The exterior of this home is nice and modern. It's got a sweet flat roof. And I feel like in today's market, <laughs> door got stuck. It's a pretty good value proposition just because of all the finishes at this property. Um, there's a couple things that are kind of above and beyond for this price range. The Garage walls are insulated on the interior and exterior, which is a really nice touch in Southern Utah because it does get really hot here. And the layout of this home, I feel like it, it makes perfect sense. So you've got an office right off the front. You know, often when you look online and you look at the homes in this price range, this is kind of the entry level for a single family home. A lot of things look much better on the internet than you go to look at them in person. And it's really not what you had expected because a lot of the homes in this price range often sit on a tiny little post stamp lot. So this is actually a full proper quarter acre, which I feel is pretty good for a 2000 square foot home. You actually have a backyard, decent side yard. You're still able to fit a three car garage. The kitchen, I feel like is very important. And this is, again, above what you would normally see in this price range. Massive oversized countertop, gas range, general electric microwave, has a little corner pantry. It's a good size, not too little. You fit all your groceries in there? Mm-hmm. And I really like these cabinets. I'm usually a painted cabinet kind of guy, but I like the colors in this house. As we go down this hallway, we have a guest bath and a guest bedroom. Now all the bedrooms are pretty generously sized for the square footage. They all have a closet. Which you're not have... gonna find that in a lot of new construction, I feel like these days. I That's feel like. True. The rooms just keep getting tighter and tighter. Majority of new construction, I feel like, especially if you are looking at a home that's less than 2,000 square feet and it has four or five bedrooms all of a sudden, I feel like three bedrooms is pretty perfect because look, this living room is quite massive. Again, for the size of the home. You have a nice insert fireplace and the primary bedroom is actually a really nice large room. So you could comfortably fit a king in here. You've got some really private views out of the back. The land behind us, I believe, is still zoned as farmland. It may eventually get developed, but as of right now, you have some really nice rear privacy at this property. Primary bath, you have a dual vanity with some quartz counters, nice wood cabinets. You have a soaking jetted tub and a really good looking shower with a glass door. And the primary closet, pretty good size. Yes. Could fit all sorts of things in there. Well, linen closet, there's a lot of closets in this home, nice for storage. Yeah, and I think it makes a big difference in a home if you, if you have sufficient amount of storage. Let's take a look at the laundry room. You got some nice built-ins right here in the mud area and then it takes us into the laundry room we have two more uppers in here more storage in the laundry room and your dryer can be either electric or gas oh it's gonna sit so we do have that um coat closet linen closet there's one in the primary bedroom there is a coat closet right here when you walk in and then in the hallway to this bedroom there is another linen closet right here and then you've got extra storage under the center island. So there is a lot of storage in this house. A lot of storage in this house. And the closets are very generously sized. Now, another thing that is pretty uncommon, you could find some resales that I feel like are priced pretty well with this amount of space. 
but then you're buying a 20 year old house. This house was just built in 2024 and you have a massive three car garage. So your third bay is staggered a little bit so that you have room for all of your HVAC equipment. This, this is a lot of garage space for this style of home. Let's go check out the backyard. Let's go take a look. And this home is finished with front and back landscaping. So if you were to purchase it, you really wouldn't have anything else to spend your money on. I mean, I'm sure there's plenty of things you could spend your money on. Maybe some blinds. Maybe some blinds. It is really peaceful out here. At times you'll hear some heavy equipment backing up but not right now. No, really nice and quiet and private. You have a, a barbecue stub, you have a couple of water spigots, um, really nice backyard. And it's all pretty low maintenance. All of the plants are on uh, an automatic drip. The grass is too. There's a mature tree that got preserved out back. Then you have two ways to access this backyard through either of these doors. That one takes you into the primary. This one takes you into the living room. You have a decent amount of rear patio to get your grilling on. And that side yard over there is pretty big. Yeah, that side yard is pretty big. And I feel like if you added a wall right there, you've got you know plenty of room in here, even if you wanted to drop in a little pool. Mm -hmm. Let's go check out the other house. Can't wait to show you guys the views. We are driving to the other house, mostly because it's just a little bit more convenient to have our stuff close, but it is literally across the street and in walking distance. It's the perfect setup to bring your family with you and you guys can be neighbors. Yeah, imagine how convenient that would be to have grandma and grandpa right across and up the street, get to like drop the kids off and go do something. So the second home that we have in Mountain View Estates is literally just minutes away from that house over there where we just were. Sean will take us on a little tour of this house. I really like the curb appeal of this home. Me too. It is a beautiful home. So this is another three bed, two bath, three car garage. Wait till you see the backyard. That's one of the best selling points of this beautiful home. Let's go check it out. We've got desert landscaping in the front, which is easy maintenance, and they're all set up on a drip system. And all these other houses up the street are just about finished. The colors of this home are probably one of my favorite parts. I don't know, I'm just obsessed with this flooring color and the white walls. We've got this grand entrance with very tall vaulted ceilings and then you've got three windows at the top and then right to your right when you walk in we've got a can it be right to your left what did i say to, no, it to is my right. right it is right okay. to your right so we've got one bedroom bathroom so just like the other home they are generous in size and this room also has LVP flooring, so this would be perfect for an office. Could be an office, could be a bedroom, depending on what you have the need for. Yeah. I'm a big fan of those corner windows. Me too. Okay, and then here is the bathroom. Just a full bathroom, cute one, cute mirror. Single sink vanity. Single sink vanity. And then we have our dining area right here and our oversized center island with the cabinets underneath for some extra storage. I just want to show them how huge this center island is. It is so huge. Like this is, this house is perfect for entertainment. Having people over for dinner, like there is so much counter space for cooking. So this house is what, it's just shy of 2000 square feet, right? Yeah. And this counter or this, this center island, is not really something that you typically see in a home, I would say under 3000 square feet. So it's massive. It's huge. Huge. And then there is these huge marble 
tiles. Like they are massive slabs, which I love as the backsplash. And then I love the color combination, how there's white cabinetry up top and then the Naldi Alder on the bottom. We've got stainless steel um, GE appliances and a, is it a, it's a five burner gas stove. And then here is our family room. The beautiful electric fireplace. And let's go check out the backyard while we're here. It's kind of cool how this, this is all like together yet separate. I love how this house flows with the kitchen in the middle because usually you get like your kitchen, dining room, living room, and this is all like on the opposite sides. I'm, I'm, pers I'm a big fan of open floor plans. Like I don't like choppy floor plans. Like you're gonna spend most of your time in the family room and in the kitchen. And if they all kind of flow together, that's, I agree. that's my cup of tea. I'll show you guys how this flows together. Since I didn't get a chance to show you guys the full flow of this house, hopefully this made a little bit more sense. That's what we're talking about. And the backyard is a blank canvas to do whatever you would like. There is a huge slab. I would probably add a big pergola right here. You got lots of room for a patio. I'll yeah. just walk to the corner so that you guys get a better idea of the size of this. But it's not like it's not overwhelming. It's not like you're gonna have to spend a ton of money to landscape it. What would you guys do with this backyard? What would you do with these beautiful views? It is so yeah, peaceful you're, back there. In Mountain View Estates, you have a neighbor with a massive backyard that, you know, there's not nobody immediately next to you. So again, this home has some really nice rear privacy. And you can see Zion National Park from here. Beautiful. Yeah, you got the views of Zion. If you go far enough north, you'll see Pine Valley Mountain. Okay, let's go check out the rest. Thank you for sticking around that far into this video. If you're seriously considering moving into this area, maybe you're thinking about building a custom home, we would absolutely love to be a resource to you. We have a great relationship with so many custom home builders in Southern Utah. We have a long list of general contractors that we would recommend. We have an even longer list of general contractors that we would recommend you avoid. If we could be of service to you, please feel free to reach out to us. Our contact information is in the description below this video. And there's a link for Calendarly so you could hop on our schedule for a quick call if that's the route you'd like to go. And as always, please give this video a thumbs up so the algorithm can suggest it to more people. And if you haven't already subscribed, please make sure to smash that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our future videos. Oh, and I forgot to mention all the closets. So yeah, another large closet right here when you walk in for storage. Good size. And we've got a good size. And this is, so this is essentially a part of your pantry, right? Mm -hmm. It's right there. And then I would imagine we would probably use that as a pantry too. So this is, would suffice it. Look how. Oh, that would suffice as a pantry. Yeah. This is plenty of room. This is probably equivalent to that corner pantry, except it's just, just all straight. It's just all straight. Yeah. So you got fridge pantry across the road. Okay. And then into the primary bedroom, which is good size. Got two windows on the side to the views. And we've got this sliding barn door into the primary bathroom. I really like all the colors in this primary bath too. Thank you. So we've got the two sinks, mirrors are beautiful. And check, come check out the shower tile all the way to the top. That's sweet. And then a good size primary closet. 
And then over here, we have the laundry room that goes into the garage. We'll check that out in a second. And then here's our third bedroom with a large closet. And then let's go check out. Pretty good sized bedrooms. Yeah, pretty good sized. And then, oh, I forgot to turn this light on. Hold on, can you? And then. You got uppers and lowers in the laundry room. Yeah, and it's nice that this is like, you know, a lot of laundry rooms, it's like you walk in and they're right there. So they'll sit back in here and you've got your folding table, storage cabinets. You've got more storage above the washer and dryer. And the garage. And I feel like three cars, pretty much a minimum if you live in Southern Utah, we've got room for his and hers, whatever combination of whoever is driving them, and then also a recreational vehicle of some sort. And it's a little bit um, deeper on this third bay over here. But we didn't get into the prices of these homes. So, if you guys want to know the prices of these homes, I will post the links in the description below this video so you could see the full MLS listings for either of these properties. And in fact, it'll take you to a property website. They'll give you all the stats like square footage, number of bedrooms, bathrooms, all the info about both these homes. And of course, if you would like a more personalized private tour of these homes, you know where to reach us. Contact info is in the description below this video. Give us a call, shoot us a text. Perhaps if these two homes don't tickle your fancy. Maybe you want to be in a different part of Southern Utah. Maybe you want to be in Northern Utah, wherever you want to be in the state of Utah. We've got you covered. Give us a call, shoot us a text. Love to get the conversation started. Have a great day.